All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to do the six high mod on these um, 03 to 07 classic Chevys and uh, GMs. Uh, you can do these on the 1500s as well and the one tons as well. Um, it just we're working on a 2500 Duramax today. So what you, what the mod is here is uh, uh, it's going to allow you to run your low beams stock. And then when you go high beam, you'll have both high and low bulbs turn on. And this mod will also allow you to turn your, have your fog lights on with your uh, high beams as well. Now, just a war fair warning, uh, this might be illegal in some countries and states. So um, check with your law first. Uh, I just want to put that in there so I don't, yeah. Uh, anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to take out these three relays here. This one, this one, and this one. And you're going to get some diodes. Uh, diodes look like this. Uh, focus there. Diodes look like that. Uh, we bought four of them because that's how they came from the place we bought them from. Um, so what you do is uh, this is your high beam uh, relay. And it's on the 85 pin, which would be on this corner here. Is your 85 pin. Um, and you'll put the one relay in, in there and then you'll bring it over to your low beam mod or your low beam relay. And again, you'll put your, put the relay inside the 85 pin on this relay as well. Um, or yeah, but you'll put the diode in this relay as well. And then from there you can take another diode and you can connect it from the 85 pin on your high beam uh, relay and you can bring it over to your uh, fog light relay and again put it on your 85 pin so all the diode connections will be on all the 85 pins on all three of these relays um what we ended up doing so there wasn't as many uh little leads going and leads from the diodes going in to the 85 prong on this one and stretching it out too much and causing electrical issues we've uh only put one lead into it and soldered the other lead to the other to soldered the one diode to the other diode and then it just splits off and allows both diodes to work to do their jobs to turn on both your high beams and your fog lights High beams, low beams, and fog lights all at the same time. Um, here's a little bit of a, a diagram again. And I'll show you here on the thing. So the diagram, those are your die, or these are your relays. And we've shown you where your 86, 87, 30, 85 pins are. But you really need to worry about where your 85 pins are. So on this one, your 85 pin, or these two, your high and low beams, your 85 pin is in the bottom right corner. And on your fog light, the 85 pin is on the top left corner. Uh, that's facing, if you're on the driver's side fender looking at your uh, fuse panel, that is. So that's your, um, that is your high beam one, this is your low beam one, and this is your fog light. And again, you just put those diodes in there on the 85 pins and that allows you to do this mod. And now I'm going to show you it working. Again, this could be illegal in your state. So check your bylaws and everything before doing this mod. So this is your low beam. Turn your uh, fog lights on. This, uh, he, the fog lights still work on their own switch. So you can turn the fog lights on and off if you like. So that's low beam fog lights. See, he's just turned it off. And then you can do high beams with your fog lights. Can you do the high beams without the fog lights too? No. no? Okay, so high beams will have fog lights on always. You can't turn the fog lights off when you're on high beam. But, 
you know, what when you're going to really want to turn your fog lights off with your eye beam. That's kind of the point of this mod. So, it's a pretty simple mod. It's pretty cheap. Uh, but before I let you guys go, I'll show you the diode code. It's an uh, uh, 1N4004 diode. Here in Canada, they're 75 cents a piece. You'll need two of them for this job. Um, the price is obviously going to vary from what country you're in and what uh, province or state you're in. Um, so it's pretty cheap. Again, I'll show you again the, the diodes. Just these little guys here. Yeah, you can probably get them on Amazon too or eBay if you decide want to go that route but we like to shop local so we went to a local electronics company and again on here as your high beam relay this is your low beam relay and this is your fog lamp relay and it also shows you on here where your 85 pins are on all three of those relays Make sure you put your diodes to all the 85 pins on every, all three of those relays. And make sure when you put the relays back in, you put them back in in their perspective hole. Meaning the 85 goes back where the 85 goes. So just pay attention to the to the uh, diagram on the fuse panel. It tells you which spot the 85 went. Yes, because you can plug these uh, relays in backwards and that's not... Not good for the relays. And it says on the bottom of the relay what pin is what. Yeah, so also on the bottom of the relays it'll tell you what pin is what as well. Let's see if I can try to get that focused in there. There you can kind of see it's there. See it's got the that this one uh this one here is the 85 pin. So you make sure if you're working on this one your uh your high beam your high beam one it goes in this way you're at uh 86 pin, 85 pin is here it goes in like this uh it's pretty simple uh if you have any questions you can leave some comments um again check your state to see if uh it's legal or not because in some states it is illegal to do this uh have a good day guys all right guys, so we're driving in the Duramax here and this is uh, low beams and there's the high beams. Uh, so you can see, you can see pretty far out either side. So you can see the deers and the animals and stuff coming in off the fields and stuff. Now we're back down to low beam, which is, which is pretty good too. Like you can see pretty far out in that field still too. Uh, you can't really pick it up on the camera, but uh, in, down closer to the front of the truck it gets pretty dark without the fog lights on and also too before with the high beams on um, you'd have this dark spot kind of you know four feet in front of the truck six high uh, mod that we did to this truck it's pretty clear all the way across like you can see right underneath the truck almost uh, pretty far out the side. I don't know. It's pretty dark out, but yeah, you can see pretty good. Look at that guy's Christmas lights. Anyways, YouTube. Just thought I'd do the the six high mod in in action. All right, guys. I just wanted to add to if you thought this was a good. Uh, video on how to do uh, six high on uh, 03 to 07 classic Chevys. Uh, I can do one on, also on a OBS Chevy. So that would be like a 88 to 99 classic Chevys. Uh, I, can do, I can show you how to do the quad beam mod on those as well. Uh, so like the video and let me know if you want to see the OBS mod or quad beam mod as well. Thanks guys. See you later.